Thank you so much for celebrating Juneteenth with us virtually. I invite you to take a few minutes as we enter into a time of prayer. In this life, we mourn the inequality which we are witness to throughout the whole world in the midst of this medical pandemic and the pandemics of evil, injustice, and human brutality. We mourn over and over for the too many to name lives that have not mattered for so many. For George Freud and all African American men and women who have suffered and died at the hands of an unjust society. And may you bless each and every one of us with the gift of freedom. We pray all this in your precious name. Amen.
to Juneteenth 2020's Father's Day concert. This is Cincinnati's virtual Juneteenth festival, and I'm Terry Hocker, and I'll be your host. In a normal year, we would all be on the big stage in Eden Park, but thanks to COVID-19, we had to cancel that and go to Plan B. You couldn't go to the park, so we bought the park to you, and we're calling it the next best thing to being there. How wonderful you are to leave. Gee. Morning with my mind. Yes, I did. We wonder we have, and we wonder we need. Bow for Jordan. Begin. is Dunamis, Dunamis Sign and Mime Ministry. This ministry is composed of some very young, expressive people. They give voice to the silent gifts using masking, enhancement of the hands and the body. Their mime ministry gives them the opportunity to express the silent gifts that God has given us. <laughs>
is a very talented Nigerian gospel singer, dancer, and drummer. And for today, he's chosen to favor us with a gospel solo. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou takest not thy compassion, they fell not as thou hast been, thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have need that thy hands has provided. Mom! 
come to me. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for enjoying this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful selection that God has blessed me to. Everyone, join me as we give our performers so far a rousing amen. From 1928 through the mid-1950s, the June Festival for Negro Music provided a stage and audience for African-American musicians, both amateur and professional, who had not been welcomed in music hall and other venues. Those popular concerts were typically held on Father's Day in Eden Park. June Tate revived the June Festival in 2005, and for that first concert, we honored three people, Arthur Herndon, Ruth Phillips, and Joanna Byrd, who had been members of the June Festival Choir over 50 years ago. Up next is our friend Renee Hill. She's been a popular soloist at many Juneteenth Father's Day concerts. I, in awesome wonder, the world, my God, have made. I see the stars, and I hear the roaring thunder. Consider all the universe displayed. to take me home the joy that fills my heart with adoration then sing my soul my savior God to thee As part of the Union, Kentucky was not included in the Emancipation Proclamation, other slave states remaining in the Union were Maryland, Delaware, and Missouri. Slaves were freed in Kentucky and other slave states in December 1865 with the ratification of the 13th Amendment to the Constitution. During the war, Black Union soldiers were stationed in Kentucky and Black soldiers were recruited over the very strong objections of slave owners. Keeping those slave states in the Union was one of Abraham Lincoln's major contributions. Kentucky ratified the 13th Amendment, a long-awaited formality, in 1975. Woke up this morning with my mind, yes I did!
this morning with my mind on freedom. Yeah. yeah. Next up, we have Prodigal Sons. The Prodigal Sons have been a very popular and inspiring group at every Father's Day concert since 2005. Elder Melvin Taylor once sang with the Blind Boys of Mississippi, and he formed the Prodigal Sons to minister God's gospel through music. This next performance is in loving memory of Elder Taylor, who passed away several weeks ago. Gambling man, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Mm -hmm. The train is bound for 
I'm Tamika. I'm a member of the band True Colors. Um, our band is made up of people from different backgrounds, but we have something very important in common besides our love of music, but more importantly is our love for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm 
Juneteenth, the freedom brought by the Ohio River, earned from the river, and cherish the knowledge of how your ancestors used the river to not just survive, but thrive. Stay tuned for more Cincinnati Juneteenth history. Lord, there's something, something about my son,
My name is Era Samuels and I'm the current reigning Miss Black Cincinnati 2019 and a recent graduate of Northern Kentucky University. I bring you greetings from RLH Pageants Unlimited and the Cincinnati Black Theater Company. May God continue to bless you during this worldwide COVID-19 pandemic. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Because of who you are, Jehovah Jireh, you're my provider, Jehovah Nisi, Lord, you reign in victory, Jehovah Shalom. My Prince of Peace, and I worship you because of who you are. Oh, because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. God bless you all. Our next artist is Neva Ford Nation. She's a Christian gospel artist who's been ministering for over 10 years. She's recorded and shared the stage with numerous gospel artists. Neva comes to us from Houston, Texas. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Oh, I want Jesus. Jesus. 
enjoyed this virtual presentation of the 2020 Juneteenth Father's Day concert. We hope to see you back in Eden Park next year on June 19th and 20th. And let's all pray that the sun is shining brightly and that COVID-19 will be a thing of ancient history.